repeating. My okay, so people can. I think people can go back. People can, yeah. People recorded. can watch this and decide for themselves. So let let's advance the argument a bit further, because I'd like to return to something that we actually started with. I also had a point about translation. No, no, no I, I, I would, yeah, I would, I, I would like to return to the point about the the spiritualities, you know, about you know, we talked about the fact that sincere actions, in and of themselves, right depend upon what you see as good like you know good you, you if you will for the good it depends what you're aiming at as good so if you value something that's actually so intrinsically intentions. yeah your intentions even if sincere can be bad if they are pointed towards something that is bad you can sincerely lust after a woman but your sincerity does not make your lust a good thing you can sincerely desire to steal something, but your stealing does not become good because your desire is sincere, okay. right? So what makes something sincere and worthy is that the end that it is directed to as well. And I use the example of hatred. That in Islam, we have examples of Muslims in this park that have been caught on camera saying this. They celebrate hatred because Allah hates the unbeliever, so they celebrate hatred of the unbeliever, right? My point to you is that just like if I lust after a woman, the sincerity of my lust does not make my lust good. If you hate someone, even if you hate them sincerely, the fact that you hate someone in and of itself makes the sincerity invalid and it makes the action bad. I don't and, agree with that. Right. So, let, for example, like if you have a murderer, and let's say we call for the death penalty of murderers, yes. the fact that you murder a murderer just because it was a murder doesn't make the action wrong. Okay. Murdering a murderer, like in, uh, for example, in our religion, would be right. That doesn't take away the fact that you should murder the murderer. Can, can I, it's the same thing with yeah. with hating a person who's a pedophile, for example. So let me reply to that. His pedophile d gives you the reason of hating him. Just as a murderer gives you the reason to murder him in return for his action, or, or let's say punishing him, putting him in prison, yep. that accounts for what he's done. Putting someone in prison is wrong, yep. but if he did something, that can allow that allow putting him in prison to be... Uh, allow, allow me to reply to that. Does that make sense? It does, but what you're confusing there, you're confusing justice with hatred. Shall we move away from the shouter? Bro, let's move away from the shouter. Yeah. Because I'm enjoying this conversation. Yeah, I, I'm happy to deal with off-topic questions. The questions aren't no, about no, no. Let, about, let, like, let, uh, let me let me the... let me reply to what you've just said, because you're confusing, you're confusing justice with hatred. I totally uphold justice, and it may shock and surprise you that there are lots of Christians in favour of the death penalty. I actually, I actually changed my mind on this question. When I first became a Christian, I was against the death penalty. But as I studied my faith more, I realized there's nothing in my faith that teaches me to be against the death penalty. So actually, I'm in favor of the death penalty. Not the mosaic right? Law. Let me let me finish. Oh, let me finish. Good. Let me finish. But that's not hatred. That's justice. And you can exact justice dispassionately, void of emotion. And so to cloak hatred behind justice is to malign justice. I'm a criticizing the spirituality of Islam that values the unvaluable. So that, you that, uh, lords, someone, right? that lords something that is unlaudable. So when you give the death penalty to a murderer, you're justifyingly murdering someone. Yes, you're executing them. It's the same thing, it's the same analogy with hatred. You can justifyingly hate someone because of his action. Because someone murdered another person unlawfully, yep. you can justifyingly murder him, even though murder is wrong technically. Right. Same thing with hatred. If somebody does something, such as he's a pedophile, you can justifyingly hate him, and that hatred is technically wrong, but it is justified by his action the same way murder of himself as in the death penalty is justified by his action. Okay, so let me reply just, to that. Just an off topic question. No, no, no. I'm going to, no, no, no. I'm going to reply. Just real quick. No, I'm going to reply. Is that a... I'm going to reply to your point. Right? So, gosh. Is, is our microphones picking up him still? Do we need to move again? Yeah. Let's move one more time. 
sorry guys, I know you're listening. We're going to move because he's got a good voice. You know, he's got a good loud voice, right? And, and I, it's just very distracting. You know that guy? The guy standing? I don't know him. I don't know him. Let me just grab these other two cameras. Yeah, yeah, thank you. Thank you very much. Yes, stand there. I said that. I said that. So, this is guy. Guy, stop screaming at people in the park and enter into dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm just in a conversation, bro. Thank you. So, in in terms of in terms of the in terms of the reply, right? The reason why you should never give ground to hatred in your heart is because the moment you start to do that, what you do is you set a pattern in your life. You open up you open up a place in your life, and the thing is, no emotion that energetic ever stays in place, right? If you give grounds to hatred, what it does is it bubbles over into other aspects of your life, right? And you start being nasty you, to the people you mind around you. My analogy, though. So, in terms of in ter because the thing is, you're confusing justice with hatred, and you're saying you can justifiably hate someone. What I'm saying is, is that I'm, what I'm saying to you is, what I'm saying to you is, right, is that hatred is a normal human reaction, right? But it is not something that we should value as a society and it's not something that we should give credence to or, or space to in the sense of beyond the, beyond the point of it just passing naturally, we shouldn't encourage people to hate. Because when you encourage people to hate, they do hateful things, right? And the problem with um, objective intrinsic Quranic values vis-a-vis -vis New Testament values, the New Covenant values of the Christian faith, is that you celebrate and you endorse things that are ultimately destructive to yourself, right? Whereas Christians, because of love, we still uphold justice, we still believe the paedophile should be punished. We still believe, I still believe, and many Christians still believe that capital punishment should be used. I think Islamists should be executed, you know? I do, Islamist. seriously. Islamist, is yes. Islamist An Islamist is someone who wants to impose Islam through violence. So, and I think they should be executed. And so the Crusaders should all be executed? So. Mm, the Crusaders weren't trying to, the Crusaders were responding to Islamic and aggression. When they came into Jerusalem and Which was a Christian city Christian that Muslims, Muslims conquered. Right, and so if Muslims conquered a city and the Christians took it, they have the right to take it back and impose Islam. But your argument is if Christians conquer Wait, Muslim lands, Muslims Christians. should just accept that. What do you, can you repeat? So if Christians conquer Muslim lands, Muslims should just accept that? No, obviously not. So what's your problem with the Crusades again? The Crusades conquer the land and impose... Whose land was it? Muslim land. No, it wasn't. You yeah. don't know your history. When was, the, when, think, when was Islam born? Do you think that, When was Islam born? Uh, think, when was Islam born? Seventh century. Do you think that... When so was the Byzantine Empire? The when was the now? Byzantine Empire? See, see, this, this when did shown, the Byzantine is, Empire emerge? This is one of the most hi hypocritical things. No, I've no, no. The, you can the, the camera. Yeah, the Crusades were totally justified. Yes. Christian law, the Crusades, fine. because but they were Muslims liberating Christian land. Islamic law, that's they were a, Crusades were liberating Christian land. And the Muslims were liberating Muslim what? land. What? When they invaded Christian land, what were they liberating? And so, are you saying that the there Roman Empire did not invade non-Christian? You know what your problem is. Your, yeah, kind of, you know is what your a, is that a yes or no? Brother, the problem is your history stops at the seventh century, it's, it's pretty, it's and you don't think there's any history before the seventh century. Anyways, this is a digression. So can we go back to what? This is a massive. Yeah, it is a massive digression. But you need to actually realize there's history before the seventh century. Anyway, coming back to the point, coming back to the point, is that in, in the Christian faith, right, we can still believe in capital punishment, we can still believe in upholding justice. What about turning the other cheek? Well, turning the other cheek, it's a great, it's, it's one that I think that a lot of Muslims misunderstand. Because turning the other cheek doesn't mean being a pacifist, right? If you hit me on my cheek and you start hitting me, I will knock you out. So then you're right? going against the verse? No, it, because the, boy, the verse is a hypo, hyperbolic verse. Okay. Do you know what hyperbole is? So when you were using the hadith just a little bit ago, you see, do you, we don't take wait, the... Wait, do you know what little... hyperbole is? <coughs> yeah. What is hyperbole? Well, f first of all... No, you said I, you understood it. I, do you know what I hyperbole just, is? Can I just point no, to you've the just, fact No, you've just asked me a question. You asked me the question <coughs> about turning the other cheek. 
And when I tried to answer the question, you said, oh, you're going against no, the verse. I won't interrupt you. So the, the, the verse that Christ uses is hyperbole. And why do we know it's hyperbole and not literally? Because if you read the trial of Jesus Christ in the Gospel of John, they literally strike him on the cheek. It doesn't say in the next verse that he turned the other cheek. So Jesus himself does not interpret his own teachings literally. So why should I? Thank you. Go on. So, I mean, do you want me to address the fact that that could be seen as a contradiction, turning the other cheek? If you want to, we, you can make that argument and I'll address what that. What did you say beforehand? About what, that, sorry? Hey, so, I gave you an analogy that hatred can, is, is a, imposed because of, of an act of a person. And what I'm the saying, same way right. that capital punishment can yeah. be imposed because of an act of a person. And what I'm saying is, how do you yeah, okay, so I'm going, I'm going, you, what, yeah. How you've tackled it, it seems like, is that there are negative effects to imposing hatred because of the action of a person, yet the same thing can be said about imposing the capital punishment on a person because of his action. So, so, so these, allow me to address that point. I don't see them very different. I, I, allow me to address that point. Allow me to address that point. Allow me to address that point. Because again, you're confusing justice with hatred well, and, and the point is i'm not denying that hatred is a normal human response to pain to injustice or just because you don't see the world right and you Same think sorry you're response. interrupting but if i interrupt you you'll start complaining again just like you did over yeah, there you, you said you were going to do a point you, you said you were going to let me reply so let me reply so the reality is <coughs> that i accept that hatred is a normal human reaction and as a normal human reaction, it needs to be given space for a healthy life. Like, like if you punch me, I'm going to be angry with you. That's normal and it should have its space. But the difference is that in the Christian faith, what we're told is don't act out of your anger. Don't act out of your envy. Don't act out of your lust. Act out of love and faith and hope and prudence and justice and mercy and kindness and goodness and self-control. Well, let me finish, Islam, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. But in Islam, <coughs> that Allah actually commands, well, it doesn't command, but he himself hates and Muslims embody his hatred by saying that they hate the unbeliever. We've literally had Muslims caught on camera doing this and they're doing it whilst quoting the Quran and it is the problem is the spirituality is that in in the same way that you wouldn't want to say that just because you um, lust after someone sincerely that makes it valid hating someone even sincerely even if your religion says you should hate someone doesn't make the action valid for me as a Christian because for me as a Christian you should act out of love right you should always act out of love or out of faith or out of hope if you're acting out of anger what you're doing is you're hurting yourself and you're hurting the world around you. So when you give the capital punishment to a murderer... That's justice, still, not still, hatred. You still love that murderer. That's justice, it's not right. hatred. And, 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 the, and when you give him the death penalty, you're still in love with that murderer as a normal human being. Yeah, and then let me explain how, right? So when you're going... No, well, no, thing, no, no, you've just... I did you, want to tell you, I've let, given let, you an analogy. Let, and let, you've let, yet to show a differentiating factor between... Uh, okay, maybe I, maybe I didn't, I, 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 didn't, I, didn't, I didn't know. What I said was that you're confusing justice with hatred. Justice, justice means eye for eye, tooth for tooth, life for life, right? How do you love someone who's going to get the death penalty? It means that before you execute them, you don't torture them, you don't starve them, you don't abuse them, you treat them with dignity. You feed them when they're hungry. You give them water right. when they're and thirsty. You're Islam doesn't you don't. Have that? You don't leave them in a cold place. Okay, what's your point? Right. No. So my point is. My point is. My points are one that you have again and again and again confused justice with hatred. They are not the same thing. So can and I ask? Is God so in the secondly, Bible? Does He love the, di secondly, the disbelievers? Yes. He loves yes. the and yes. those same disbelievers so, so, will go to hellfire. So, so let me let me explain. Those same disbelievers yes. will go to hellfire. So, so let me explain. So let me just understand. Let me yeah, God go on then. I'll let you Bible, explain your point and then explain. He loves the disbelievers. Yes. Yet he puts them in hellfire forever. Yep. And at the same time that they're in hellfire forever, he still loves them. Right. So now shall I explain? And you find nothing wrong with that. Shall I explain that? That to me is a contradiction. Right. I know. Of course, it's 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 typical Islamic theater. But let me let me reply to it. Let or, me reply or to it. Simple logical thinking. No, not really. It. Let me reply to it. Let me reply to it, because here's the difference between Christianity and Islam. It says in the Bible, right, it says that whilst we were yet sinners, God <coughs> so loved us 
that he sent his son into the world to take away our sin. Because yeah, he can't just now, no, us now you're right, right. I'm going to now interrupt Hello, you sorry, whenever no, I want. Sorry, do not up. complain. Because well, no, I'm going to interrupt you now whenever I want. Part, do you not never complain. Let me reply if right? Reply. So, so, what does that mean? <clears throat> it means that the salvation that I have is a free gift. I didn't do anything to earn it. I didn't do anything to merit it. It has just been given to me, and it's on me whether I accept it. Right? That same salvation, you also have the option to accept. It's a free gift. You haven't done anything to earn it. You don't deserve it, but you can take it if you want to. It's like someone sticking a, a, a 20 million pound check in everyone's back pocket. The difference is the Christians take the check and go to the bank and cash it. It's not that you don't have the check. It's that you don't cash the check. It's not, it's not, forever. it's not that. Well, the thing is, if you don't cash the check, God hasn't, it's not that God hasn't given it to you. It's that you haven't cashed it. The fault is on you, not on God. But, but here's the difference. You. Here's the difference. Here's the difference, right? Allah says that he hates the unbeliever. Let's agreed, say, right? He, that he, I right? don't say agreed. I say let's do right? Uh, right? He hates the unbeliever. Because so, we have so a major point that if he hates the unbeliever, you. if he hates the unbeliever, if he hates the unbeliever, at what point does he change so that we can accept Islam? When they repent, when they become believers. So that means that it's something we do, isn't it? Uh, as in disbelief? No, as in repent. Yeah, when you repent, you right. become a Muslim. So in other words, so in other words, the, the wonderful, the most beautiful thing about our faith is that God has said, you don't deserve salvation, but I will offer it to you anyway. Allah is saying, you don't deserve salvation, but if you do this thing, then I'll give it to you. So in other words, the, the God of the Bible and the God of Islam are completely different gods. Of course. The God of the Bible is a God of love, and the God of Islam, if we're favorable, if we're charitable, yeah, we'll say is a God it's, of justice. It's the, it's, the, it's the God of love in your interpretation in a very deceiving way. Why is it deceiving? Because, because sorry? You can, he can put the disbeliever in hellfire forever. I'm sorry, a deception means to make someone think something is true that is not right, true. So what's right. the when deception? You say, when you say God loves the disbeliever, he, does. he puts him in hellfire forever. Who puts him in hell, it sorry? Doesn't, it doesn't who really puts mean him in hell? he loves him. No, who right? puts him in hell? That, According right to my analogy, who puts him in hell? God does. No, you didn't listen to my analogy. If <laughs> I, if I, let, let's pretend I'm a billionaire, right? And I write a check for every single one of you for a million pounds, and half of you take that million pounds and you go, you take that check Bob, and you go and cash it. No, no, no. I'm, good. I'm going the, the to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm addressing the point. If you, I, you're if I check write a check, I told you. if I'm a billionaire and I write a check for a million pounds and I give it to everyone around us, half of you cash it and half of you don't. You chuck it in the bin. Whose fault is it that you chook the check in the bin? Yours or mine? Well, it's the same thing with Islam. Everyone has a chance. No, I want to ask you. I want, no, no, no. That's not my question. It's no, 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 no. It is. Uh, answer the question. Even if you think it's a bad one, answer it's the question. My fault that I didn't cast the check. Thank you very much. You so you're incorrect. Because as your Muslim brother has just said, it would be his fault if he didn't cash the check. Right, well, if our back. God, if my God gives you salvation as a free gift, and you choose it, it not to accept you, it, it is not God, it is not God's fault that you refuse to accept it, it is your fault, it is not right. God that has failed to love you, it is you who have failed to love yourself. Right, and this is mirrored in Islam, but when the person... Where is it mirrored, sorry? When the person... Show me in the Quran, show me in this, the Quran, this, no, 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 you see, you interrupted, something, something you no, you interrupted me. Show me in the Quran where Allah says he loves the unbeliever. Throughout our whole conversation, I have never been allowed to speak. No, you, 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 you have interrupted all the time, consistently. It's on camera, there's no point yeah, denying I'm it. Trying to get a Everyone can to watch speak. this on Soko Films and you can see he interrupted me constantly. Right, because I'm trying to get And I warned you that because you interrupted me last time, I would interrupt you whenever I wanted. And I said you'd complain and right, now you're complaining. I, but I, when I try to interrupt, I try to get a. Ah, uh, when I try to interrupt. Thank you for speak. admitting. Yeah, but so, I'm trying to get to actually speak. You said it's in Islam. You said it's in Islam. Show me in the Quran a verse where Allah says he loves the unbeliever. God doesn't, uh, I mean, uh, 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 what, what, what? the unbeliever. The reason Show is, me in the Quran where when, Allah says he loves person, the unbeliever. When a person lives his life and disbelieves and then Show dies, me in the Quran where Allah says he loves here's, the unbeliever. <coughs> you said that what I said is in the Quran. Show me. So can I, can I answer? Can you, can you speak? Okay, what? go on. <laughs> so, uh, uh, you don't like it, do you? No, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what he's... But uh, listen, in Islam, 
when a person continues his life disbelieving and then dies as a disbeliever, the difference between you and me is that you seem to pretend that when he goes to hellfire, God still loves him, which makes absolutely no sense. I didn't no say that. Sense, At no right? point in this conversation yes, did I say did. that. No, I didn't. For us, no, for, I didn't. Us, for us, when he's thrown into hellfire, obviously God doesn't love him because he continues on his disbelief. He has the same opportunity in Christianity that he can repent and become a Muslim throughout his entire life. And this is even shown in the Hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, that he's seen every every disbeliever as a potential Muslim. Because yep. that person has a chance to repent and become a believer throughout his entire life. Yep. Once he dies, that's it. There's but that no, wasn't the point, though, no was it? There's no repentance, and God does hate the disbeliever when he dies on disbelief. So firstly, is, so firstly, you miss, is, you first, God what? loves the disbeliever even though he dies on disbelief, right. yet throws him into hell so, forever. So, so, that, that so, for me does not so make any is, sense and logically so, does not make so sense. So the thing is, the thing is, I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to explain time. it. I'm going to explain it because the thing is, love gives freedom. If you love someone, what you don't is imprison them. When you love someone, what you don't is you don't force them to do something against their will. There's no compulsion right? in religion. I mean, uh, thank you, you very much. The idea that we're thank you very much. Thank you very uh, much. Muslim. Again, you're misrepresenting me and, and you can misrepresent me as much as you want. And maybe that will trick some of the people who are new to the conversation, but the cameras catch everything. And in the comment section, everyone will just point out, you did not say that. And he said, you said that he lied. And that's all you're doing, right? And this will be watched by thousands <laughs> of people where the couple of people that you're tricking here are just one or two. So in the end, you're actually harming your own argument. Now, That's let me go on to what I was saying. You misrepresented me. You said that I said that God loves the unbeliever when he sends them to hell. What I actually said is so that God gave salvation to everyone standing around me, whether they are Muslim, Christian, Jew or atheist. It is there in their back pocket. They don't they didn't do anything to merit it. And why is that not the difference is, why is the difference is when they, they accept repentance, what it is, is the equivalent of taking a check to a bank and cashing it. Right. Right. What it is so, not is meriting God's love. <laughs> and that's the difference. Because what you say in Islam is that your act of repentance merits God's mercy. What we're saying is that God's mercy has already been offered to you. Your act of repentance is simply your acceptance of that mercy. Right. Now, furthermore, and, furthermore, and you, you, you seen, said you, in are, Islam, are you, you have the same concept that God loves and gives uh, uh, forgiveness in this way but you when can't show accepts. me in the Quran because the act of repentance merits the mercy of God we're saying you didn't do anything to uh, merit the mercy of God he's literally put it in your pocket the act of repentance is you accepting that it's a different understanding of repentance so can I ask a question it's a different mind. understanding of repentance go on what about a rapist, someone who kills little kids? Yes. Someone like Hitler, who was a Christian, who probably accepted that. Where does he go? Does right. he get a free ticket to Okay. So, so that rapist, that one who kills little kids. So let me. Yeah, no, let, no, let, 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 he's a Christian. Point, yeah. And he accepts it. He doesn't have to repent. He doesn't have to work for it. Yeah. It's a free check. Yeah. So, so let me let me answer that question. If he doesn't repent, then he has not accepted the mercy. Then it's, okay. then it's not a free check at the back. You no, said you don't have to repent. It's a free check because that mercy is still offered to him. So he has to repent. And he has done nothing to deserve it. Can the I, repent, I will, what I'm saying is the understanding of repentance is different in Christianity okay. to Islam. Can I just in Islam, point? in Islam, no I haven't. Have. In Islam, it's a legal understanding of repentance. In a Christian understanding okay. of repentance, it's ontological. In analogy, it's ontological. In analogy, repentance. Yeah, go on. Allah, what you're saying, Allah is merciful, but he's also fair. Yeah. So if he said, follow me your whole life, follow yep. me. Yep. And there's one person who has, and there's one person who hasn't. Why should he give paradise, or why should he give the check yeah. to both of them? Okay. When he has followed, and he's done his whole life, yeah. and doing everything that Allah has said, and he hasn't, he's done everything he wants. Okay, but he still agrees that the okay. disbeliever goes to hellfire forever. So, but, but, God but, loves him at the same but time. But the, the point is, what, what, he, what he fails to understand, to is that what, what he fails he to understand, is that when I say, when I say that, when I say is that if a person doesn't accept God's offer, i.e. through repentance, then he has put himself in hell. 
It's not that God has failed to love the unbeliever. It's the the unbeliever has failed to respond to the love of God. Do you know? Okay. That's the difference. I, I, and you I, haven't heard it, and I've repeated minute. it again. Allah has a name. Can I address your point? Because I just addressed this point. So let me address your point, because you raised a very fair yeah. point. Okay, yeah. Because I would say to you that in Islam, what you have is a contradiction in Allah's attributes. Because justice demands that if you do evil, it is punished, and if you do good, it is rewarded. Do we all agree? Yeah. Right. And mercy demands that if you do evil, it is forgiven, and if you do good, it is rewarded generously. Yeah. Right? That's mercy. Right? But Allah can't be both merciful and just to the same person. Like. So, why? Because, because of what justice demands and what mercy demands. If Allah is just, all your good works should be rewarded, and all your bad works should be punished, and they should be punished according to their value. Mercy demands that all your bad works be forgiven, when you and repent. all your good works be rewarded generously. Now, now, now. When you repent, that, that occurs, means, so they work that with means, each other. That means that Allah can't be just and merciful to you. Why? Because, you because if you repent, no, no, you meet both attributes. No, hold on one second, one second. No, both you don't. Them, because when you repent, you. because when you repent, you receive Allah's mercy. Do you not? Yeah. Yes, you do. Right, but Allah's mercy means your bad is forgiven, but doesn't if you it? Don't repent. Follow the logic, bro. If you don't if you repent, do, if you, you don't repent, repent, you get justice. Can he be just? Yes, of course. And he will punish you for what you don't, what you didn't repent. Correct? Agreed. Okay, but if you right? do repent, you receive his mercy. You receive his mercy, but not his justice. And he's. And he is just. But not his justice. Yeah, well, how is right. he not? So let me explain. Right? If you repent, you receive God's mercy. Yeah. Right? But you don't receive God's justice because God's justice means that everything bad that you did should be punished. No, but if you no, no, right? no, no, no. You, okay, which means, I understand what you mean. Which means that, to say which means that be just and, merciful and merciful to the same person. But listen, what you're saying is the same person, that's a problem. Right? We're talking about deeds here, not the same person. No, we are talking about the same person because deeds are done by persons. They can repent and they cannot repent. Deeds are done by persons. If you repent, you get mercy. So that same person, he's offering one of the two. If he repents, he'll get this one. If he doesn't repent, he'll get this one. Thank you. So that was exactly the point that I made. That was exactly the point I made that you said, no, that's wrong. And you've just agreed with me. You also have to understand in Islam, we also differentiate between a sin against another person and a sin against God. Is it relevant to this point? No, all sins against of justice and mercy. All sins against another person are sins against God. In this, in this, in this No, all sins against listen, another listen. person. No, you don't get this, to do that because you interrupted me. In this point All God, sins against another second. person are when sins you, against God. Okay, ultimately, right, right, right. ultimately, but the other, but the ultimately, other, but the the ultimately, the one, the one, the one that is sinned has sinned a, against God. There is God. a differentiating right? factor. When I sin against a person, it's not the same as sin against God. These, yeah. are, these are different. Yeah. Because this one has an additional yeah. fact that I have sinned against the person. Right. So that, that's it. And this mechanism works it's, with it's, justice it, and mercy. It, it's There's irrelevant, nothing, no it's irrelevant to the point. No, it, it's irrelevant your point, to the point. Your that's, point is that's that the Christian assertion. God is that's a Christian assertion. God is different. That's but assertion. I'm telling you, when it comes to the disbeliever, the Christian God is no different than the Islamic God. So, There's no, no difference. There is a difference. They're sent to hellfire forever if they don't repent. No. Yeah, but he doesn't. Listen. He doesn't do that. If they... No, he doesn't. If the person in Christianity doesn't repent and yep. accept Christianity, he's going to go to hellfire forever. Correct. It's the same thing in Islam. If Correct. you accept Islam, you go you go to heaven. If you don't, you go to hellfire right. forever. So These let same me, things let, are together. So, Irrelevant no, 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 of no. what you're imposing your, on your, what, oh, hatred. The point or, is, like, the, the thing that you've it's missed, bro. It's the same bro. conclusion. It's yeah, same and truth. that's the point. And but and it's not the same path. In, it's, and that was what I was when, talking when about. You repent, when no, you what, repent. No, what, no, no, now I'm going to reply. Now I'm going to reply. No, no, now I'm going to reply. Because the, the point that I made, and this is the point I keep saying to you, you don't actually listen to what I'm saying, is I was talking about the path, not the end result. I know that people end up in hell, but you will put yourself in hell if you don't accept God's mercy that he has freely offered to you. The point that I mentioned is that our understanding of repentance is ontological. Your understanding of repentance is legal. And your understanding of repentance is legal in that you do something to merit God's mercy. But Same that means, is, that, is means that means, no, 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 I'm, allow me to finish my point and then I'll reply. In Christianity, allow you me to, to allow, you see what I mean? I told you we'd interrupt and this is what he's doing, <laughs> right? No, uh, but when he, I interrupt him, you say, let him listen. The last five minutes, he's right. been quiet. No, he hasn't. He has not. I trust you, trust you, it's not been five I've minutes. Been so, like, so my point to you is that the, the problem with, the problem with these attributes of Allah, right? 
is that Allah can't be both just and merciful to you as an, a single individual. He can either give you his justice or he can give you his mercy. He can't give you both. Yes, right, yes, and it is can according to your deeds, and it is according to your One deeds. Person has many deeds it is according to your deeds. I, I'm going to finish my point, and you then I'll listen to your question, and, and then I'm going to listen to your question. At the same time, right? But in the Christian faith, right, God does not compromise on any of His attributes. If you do something wrong, that is punished in the humanity of Christ. It is punished on the cross, and God's justice of your sin is punished. So all sin is punished, but his mercy you receive. But in Islam, because Allah can't be both merciful and just to the same person, that means he is unjust because not all sin is punished. Sorry, can you explain the Christian uh, uh, part of this? Like, it, it doesn't make sense. Christ died and sacrificed himself for you, so that's the justice part, is yeah. what you're implying. And so if I commit a sin after that, it doesn't matter, right? No so justice. you receive the mercy. The right. So when I murder so, someone, so I reply. No, let me reply no to that. justice for that because yeah. Christ already died on the cross. Okay, so let me reply is to that, that. Is that what you're saying for the so, so, can, I, can I rephrase can, it? Is, can, is, no, no, let me reply to him. Okay, so let, let me reply to both of you. All right. So, so firstly, firstly, this is just an Islamic trope. Christians don't believe that when you receive a 20 million pound house, the appropriate response is to start smashing it up with a sledgehammer. When you receive a 20 million pound house as a gift, the appropriate response is to say thank you and then look after the gift. So when we receive God's mercy, we don't go on sinning. What we do is we live a life worthy of the forgiveness we've well, received. So now let me now let me reply to you. Now let me reply to you. Right? There is there is there is a condition. The condition is that you accept the gift. The gift you didn't deserve, the gift that you didn't ask for, the gift that was offered to you. And if you accept it, that gift you benefit from. Okay. Right? What about, so I've answered both as, of as you. As I asked you before, what about that guy who kills little babies and then he accepts that gift? Okay, so if someone kills, like let's look at Myra Hindley. Do you guys know who Myra Hindley is? Probably all too young. So Myra Hindley was someone who murdered... Let's talk about Hitler. Well, I mean, Myra Hindley's just as good. I want to hear Hitler. He's All right, let's talk about... Well, the, no, Myra Hindley's more appropriate, and I'll explain. You'll will see he, why in a second. Be, will Hitler be punished, or will he get a free ticket to Hitler? So, so sure let's, 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 let's talk about... I'll talk about both, okay. and then you can be satisfied, so and no so can I. So, God. Myra Hindley, Myra Hindley is someone that killed children, right? And she went to prison for her entire life, and she died in prison. She became a Christian in prison. If her repentance, if her repentance is sincere, I fully expect to see Myra Hindley in heaven, right? But Hitler? the difference is, I'm, come to, I'm going to come to Hitler. I'm going to come to Hitler. But the difference is that in my faith, I do believe her sin was punished. God's justice was met because that sin was punished in Christ on the cross, right? Now you laugh, but I'm going to demonstrate. I'm going to, right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to come to this. I'm going to come to this because I know you. No, now let me. Yeah, now let me come to Hitler. So Hitler, millions of Jews. Yeah, millions of Jews. Hitler killed six million Jews. A terrible, terrible crime. He shot himself. He shot himself. Firstly, Hitler was no. Yeah, coward's death. Hitler was not a Christian, he was a neo-pagan. Yeah, no, he wasn't. He yeah, killed yeah, people in the name of the Bible. Right, Biden. okay. So put your hand up if you have an academic qualification in the studying of Nazi Germany. Oh, look, it's just me. So when I tell you that Hitler was not a Christian, I mean Hitler was not a he Christian. He claimed to be a Christian. Whether, there are, there are Ahmadiyya claimed to be Muslim. Are they Muslims? Ahmadiyya claimed to be Muslims. Are they Muslims? Whether you have a theological problem with Bro. it or not, that's a different discussion. You never said it was a theological. You have to follow is, the is right. Ahmed, are are Ahmadiyya Muslim? How about, how about let me, let me, let me, let me are Ahmadiyya Muslim? You never said on the condition to paradise, you have to follow the right Christianity or the right sects. Are Ahmadiyya Muslim? Or you said you have to accept it. Can, can we, can we imply that Jesus no, he didn't. died on the cross? No, he didn't. Can we, can yeah, we do that? No, he didn't. Listen, but no, he didn't. No, he didn't. Listen, but, no, he didn't. Listen, no, he didn't. Okay, one second. No, he didn't. So I'm going to reply. No, I'm going to reply to his point. No, I'm going to reply to his point. Right? Out of the two of us, bro, there's only one of us that has studied Nazi Germany academically, and that is me. Okay? You haven't. I'm a historian. You're not. So let me tell you what Hitler believed, what he stated in his own writings. Okay, Bob, in Mein Kampf. Put your hand up if you've actually read Mein Bob, Kampf. Bob. Bob, oh look, 
I'm the only one that's read Mein Kampf. Now let me tell you what Hitler said in his own writings. The religion of Adolf Hitler and the inner circle of the Nazis was an, a, a metaphysical ethnic nationalism. They believed almost in a mystical race called the Aryans and this idea that the mystical race called the Aryans had a, 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 a predestination to dominate the world because they were the superior race. That religion was the religion of Adolf Hitler. That was his philosophy. And that religion, that religion, that religion, that religion, has, that religion, that religion has absolutely nothing to do with Christianity. Now, now I'm going to answer the question. Did Adolf Hitler ever claim to be a Christian? Yes, he did. Did he follow to, did did, he claim to follow Christ? Did, yes, he did. I just did answered claim, that question. Okay. Now let me ask you a question and I want you to answer it. The Ahmadiyya claim that they are Muslim. Are they Muslims? I don't have knowledge about that. Right. Does anyone know who the Ahmadiyya are? I don't have knowledge about that. Right. The Ahmadiyya are a, are a group what, what, that emerged out of India this, this is, that this say, let me finish, let me finish, no, 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 let me finish, 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 I'm sorry, you don't know European history at all. You, you're, 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 you're completely ignorant of the topic. You're, no, you're completely ignorant of this topic. You're completely ignorant of this topic, and I am going to finish my point. Doesn't matter how many times you interrupt it, me, it, it I will just keep matter. talking until I can finish my point. Okay, if so we, you don't want to listen to my listen, reply listen, to your listen, point, listen. right? So Ahmadiyya Muslims are a group that emerged out of India that claim that their founder is the Messiah, is the Jesus Christ returned. They are, you go and ask any of the Muslims who are knowledgeable here if Ahmadiyya are a Muslim, they yeah, will yeah, tell you, ah, so you do know who the Ahmadiyya are, and you did, so you lied. So the fact is that the Ahmadiyya are not Muslim, but they claim to be Muslim. Adolf Hitler was not a Christian. Okay, the second. fact that he claimed to be a Christian doesn't mean that he's a Christian. Okay, well, I a now I will so listen to you. Go on. So for, for the Hitler situation, let's just imply he was a Christian. Why? So because we want to tackle if, when that situation occurs, what so we're happen? doing a thought experiment. Yeah, because we need to understand what, how would the Christian God reply. So is he a Christian so, whilst he's committing his sins? Will, when does he become a Christian? Because this will give us insight. When, on when how does he the become a Christian? Works. When does he become a Christian? Is that relevant? It is. It really is so relevant. If he becomes a Christian after the killing of six million, he'll be fine. No, no, no. I want, I want to know when. In your, I'm going with your thought okay, experiment. Tell me when he becomes a Christian. <laughs> let's give it different points. Okay, to see fine. How the system works. Sure. All right. Let's so go. So let's say before he uh, killed and then after he killed. So right. we can see how it's how how a Christian God responds. Okay. Right. Brilliant. So this sense? this right. So, in the Christian faith, if you enter into the new covenant, right, your obligation your obligation is to live in respect of that new covenant. So if Adolf Hitler became a Christian, like he genuinely said, I'm a Christian, right? And he meant it when he said it even, right? All the sins that he's committed before that point are all forgiven. But if then he goes on to embrace ethnic Aryanism and the National Socialist doctrines, act on them and kill six million Jews, he has apostatized from the religion what if he and he has abandoned and he has abandoned the faith, even if he tells himself, I'm still a Christian, I'm still a Christian. Yeah. If he goes on to embrace doctrines foreign to the faith... Without, without and embracing then, do doctrines, but killing right, six million. Right, right. but the happen? point is, that the Christian understanding is that what your actions are tell you what your doctrines are. So you do what you believe. So murder can make you apostatize from Christianity? Yes. Okay, so you see, there is no mercy then? No. Hold on one second. Hold on one it's second. Either, see, no, you see, justice you, and mercy do not again, work with the Christian again, God. Again, a, they, they a straw man argument. You know why it's a straw man <laughs> because argument? Because when you murder, you apostatize. No. That's it. You go to hell no, forever. No, no one. You see, you've, 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 there's no mercy. No, no, in one that. Second. You can't repent. One second. You said you can't repent. I disagree. That's not how the Christian system works. You <laughs> created a straw man because that is not something that oh, I ever so said. He no, no. I'm going. I'm going to reply. I'm going to reply to point. I'm going to reply to the point. If someone, if someone goes out and kills six million people. Right. After becoming, right. Christian, After becoming a Christian, I'm going to. I'm still. I'm. I'm literally going to talk to the tree because you're not listening. So, if someone murders six million people after becoming a Christian, they have a positive. Right. So, in other words, your actions tell you what you believe. So, if you go and kill six million people, that's telling you what you believe. 
And obviously, if you're killing six million people, you're not believing in the teachings of Jesus Christ. Now, 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 let's say, 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 remember, we're talking about, we're talking about the Christian system. Because he asked, how does the Christian system work? And in the Christian system, what you do reflects what you believe. That is the, that is the thesis of the epistle of James. Faith without works is dead. What you do reflects what you believe. Okay. It's no good saying I believe in one God if you live a life that says that I'm dedicated to lust and greed and envy and avarice and malice and hatred and anger. Because if you say you believe in one God, but you do all of these things and you have sex what with someone who's not your wife and you steal from your neighbor, you're no better than the devil because the devil believes in one God so and he encourages everyone to steal and to murder and to rape and to commit adultery. So belief in one God is not important. What you believe is reflected about, what you say about your beliefs is reflected by your behavior. And your behavior will tell you what you believe. Okay? So a follower of Jesus doesn't go out and kill six million Jews. Now the point that these two guys don't listen to, so I'm going to explain it to you. They say Hitler killed six million Jews. And at the end of his life, he repented. Right? Genuinely, sincerely. Like, he actually recognized, oh shit, I have done something terrible. I am so sorry. I repent to God. Please forgive me. God will forgive him. But his sin will still be punished on Jesus Christ, right? So he won't be punished. He won't be punished. For his what sins done. will be punished. No, but where's the justice in that? Yeah. yeah. Where, where? The justice is the sins are accounted for. They are dealt with. But there's no justice in Islam because if you... So if let's say Hitler was a Muslim now. Bob, can we answer let, that? Let, can let, we no, no, no. So let's say Islam? Hitler was a Muslim, he wasn't Bob, a right? Muslim. Let's say Hitler was a Muslim. I mean, he wasn't yeah, a Christian that, either. But he did ally with Bob, Muslims, right? So, calm down. Calm down. The tea is getting to you. The caffeine is getting to you. So, so let's say Hitler was a Muslim. Let so let, let's say Hitler was a Muslim. <laughs> and he kills I, six million Jews. And he repents at the end of kicks, killing six million Jews. He receives mer the, uh, the mercy of Allah. He no, receives yeah. that. Oh, so repentance yeah, is no, ineffective. No, no, let me respond. Repentance is no, ineffective. Let we let you speak let about your No, you didn't. You interrupted me continuously. You, the cameras will show it. Go on. Can we, can on. we give you I'm asking curious what's questions. What's what's questions. Just, I'm asking just curious no, no, questions. Just, just, so you're saying repentance minute, is ineffective. One minute. Let us give you what our system is. No, 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 no. You, cannot, you interrupted me, right, right, so you, you can't complain if I interrupt you. And I'm going to interrupt you. I'm telling you now. In Islam, if Hitler was a Muslim, before he killed the six million Jews, right? Once he kills the six million Jews, what occurs? As I told you, there's a differentiating factor. When he repents, does he receive God's mercy? The repentance works different when a sin is against a person and when it is only against God. So, so does he receive God's mercy? Listen, please listen. No, 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 you and didn't listen to me. Hard. No, he well, interrupted me and so did you. Just no, you interrupted me. You don't get to do that. Just 30 seconds. No, you don't get to do that. You interrupted me continuously. In fact, you interrupted me so continuously that I had to actually stop talking no. to you two you and talk to this guy because you interrupted continuously. No, you can't appeal for silence when you interrupt interrupted continuously. Answer my question. Does Hitler, having killed <coughs> six million Jews, if he takes the Shahada, because the Nazis were allied to Muslims in World War II, and um, they would have gone done dawa, right? So would he, would he have received the mercy of Allah? Yes or no? So, no, one interruption when, from when no, Hitler, when doesn't Hitler, get to do that. When Hitler killed the six million Jews, that is a sin against people and God, not just against God. So, does so he receive the sin, mercy of Allah? In this sin, how the repentance system works yep. is that if those people forgive Hitler... Which then, they can't because they're dead. Yeah, in the Day of Judgment, yep. when Hitler comes forth with these six million people... So, they can whoever, forgive him on the Day yes, of Judgment. they can yes. forgive him and yep. he can go to heaven. That's the mercy part. However... So, as, so as, you're wait, saying that the finish. mercy let of finish. Allah is dependent upon other people. Hold on one second. Second, just listen to the implications of what you've just just said. Bob, we can't continue you've now. just we can't said no. I'm sorry, okay. but you interrupted you me you continuously. You no, I'm sorry, you but he didn't. Okay, you I had to talk to this guy who's now quick, left because you interrupted me continuously. You, you ca and I'm now asking him simple questions. You can't no, complain. You asked him a question. You can't complain when you interrupted me continuously, just like you two did, and the camera catches it. 
the camera I, catches I it. You You've just, just said just that me, Hitler please. getting into heaven doesn't depend no, upon this, Allah's forgiveness, it not, depends upon the Jews' forgiveness. Is that what you've just said? Just, if I finish it, is that what you've just said? That is what you just said, guys. That is what you just said. Well, when, well, when you do that, came? bro. You do, do that. You do that. You, it's funny how you appeal to silence now, but when I was talking, you interrupted me and you didn't see anything wrong with it. No, you don't get to appeal to silence. Answer the question. You have just said. Can I ask? You have just said. Bob, let me finish and then you can tell me Go on, go on, go on. Go on. It's, it's literally a very small fact, like yep. just 20 yep, yep, seconds. Yep, 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 20 seconds. When Hitler killed the six million Jews on the Day of Judgment, they will come forward. If they forgive him, he goes to heaven. And if, if he doesn't, do not, if they do not forgive him, he will end up e either in hellfire or what does or what God does is he gives them a place in paradise, gives them a reward so high that they that that they can choose to accept that and forgive him as a result and go to heaven uh, like who? Sorry, Hitler or so the Jews? There's a, there's a very specific Hitler or the Jews? What? That go to heaven. You said they go uh, to the Jews. Right. No. No. So, God, so listen. So, so let me here, let, in this in this specific system let of me, sin let against me reply God to what and the people, there is a very specific let, way let, of attributing let me reply justice to what you and said, mercy, just which is not present in the Christian system. What, 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 what you've just said. What you've system. just said. What you've just said. Like. Uh, for me, this, this is for me justice. now. For me now, I have I have sufficient reason to reject Islam completely, based on what you've just said, because ultimately what you've just said is that a person going to heaven or going to hell, it, it's not dependent on God's judgment. No, well, it's no, dependent God, on the judgment the, of the Jews. Now, notice you're interrupting no, again. You notice you're interrupting I again. Notice. I, thank I you very much. Thank God you. No, now notice. I've seen. I've got to do it again. Because they're two are talking, uh, and this is what they did last time. So, no, right, so, so here's what he said, right? Well, here's what he said. He's agreed to not interrupt. Right. But thank you very much. Right. Okay. So, so let's make this our last point. For me now, there is no point worshiping Allah, because according to what you have just said, someone entering into paradise, there will no. So, someone entering into paradise, someone entering into paradise is not dependent solely on the judgment of God, but it is dependent upon the judgment of their victims. And this for me tells me that Allah is not worthy of worship. In the Christian faith, in the Christian faith, in the Christian faith, yeah, right? Christ does appoint judges over Israel, but he appoints them as judges over Israel. He appoints his apostles and they will judge over the 12 tribes of Israel. But their judgments will be synergies, will be reflections of Christ's judgment, right? But what you're saying is that these victims have a choice, have a choice yeah. based upon whether their judgment, whether to forgive or not. That's and that means that, and that means that Allah is not the final judge. Well, Allah judges you based on their forgiveness. Does that make sense? And you missed an important point where God can come forward, let's say on the day of judgment, I punch Bob in the face, and me and him come on the day of judgment, I have wronged him. What God can do in that case, and we're both Muslims, is to show Bob a place in heaven and say, I will grant you this reward if you get if you forgive your brother is Abdullah. That, is that Does that just... make sense? So then what will happen is that you may forgive me for that reward and, and God will tell you take his hand and go together to paradise. So the system is a very just and merciful system allowing different ways of forgiveness, different ways of, of just. And in the end there can be justice if the victim uh, ultimately does not forgive because God bases his judgment on the victim's forgiveness. Okay. Because this is a wrong against someone. Remind me your name God, again, bro. God has to be just and merciful. Well, 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 remind, does that make sense? Re remind me again your name Abdullah? again. Abdullah. Look, Abdullah, we, we've, had, we've talked a lot about a lot of topics. It's been a very pleasurable conversation. I also want to I know, ask I know you sometimes, about stuff, uh, I know sometimes it's been a bit fractious. I mean, if you can stay longer, I'm happy to take other questions. Well, but you you've said every, that uh, Sunday? every Sunday that I, I, I try to come every Sunday. I don't always get here every Sunday, but you're more than welcome to come back and talk to me. I'd like to give you a gift because I always do that to anyone Is it who's. The King James version. This, no, it's actually the English Standard Version. So it's I read this basically. When, I, when I'm saying comparative yeah. religion, and How, kings. Yeah. Are you studying comparative religion? Yeah. I also studied comparative yeah. religion. Nice. So we were in the in the same discipline. Yeah. So we could have a good conversation. So so it'd be good to talk to you again. Have a read of it. Write down your questions. Come back and talk to me another time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. It was so a my, pleasure.